Okay, cool. So, what problems do you want to do? You want to start with? Um, I made a little list. So, and by the way, I just sent you through the Skype chat. I sent you a link. So, if you click on that link, that will give you the shared whiteboard. Oh, okay. And that's how you can see what I'm writing. Okay, point A. Okay, so if you can see, can you see me drawing here? Yeah. Okay. So it says point A. Oh, we got a circle problem. All right, so we got a circle. And he said point A and C. This is what I do with every problem. Hopefully that was clear in my video course, but that's like the yeah. that's what I do all the time. All right, so we got A and we've got C over here. And it now set and it says center O. Okay. And we've got AOC, that's this angle. All right. AOC is 45 degrees. Here we go. And the radius of the circle is eight. So I'll just put these little lengths in here. Okay. You don't have to do it exactly like this. This is just my way. So what is the length of the, do you know what it means when it says minor arc? Um, like part of the circle and angle. That's right. That's like oops. the edge. That is true. Okay. So anytime. Okay. Let me, let me draw a different circle. Anytime you have two points on a circle. Okay. This point and this point, you will have a minor arc and a major arc. Okay. The minor arc, as you might guess, is the smaller arc that is created from those two points. The major arc is this chunk here is the bigger one. Okay, so in this case, in our example, the major arc, which we don't care about, would be whatever is going on over here. And the minor arc, which we do want to find, is this. Okay, so now we, now, so now we want to find the length of this minor arc. So anytime you, you think of length on a circle, you should be thinking circumference. Okay, so at, at a minimum, before we even find that value, let's just find the circumference. So what's the formula for a circumference of a circle? 2 pi r. Okay. So we've got 2 pi. What's your radius? R. Uh, and what is the um, value in this case? 8. Okay, good. So we got 2 pi times 8. So we don't have to worry about you. I mean, it depends on the answers, but usually they'll leave pi in the answers. So all we got to do is multiply this out. So what is the circumference of this circle? 16 pi. Good. All right. So now if we take, if we add the green and the orange together, we should get 16 pi. Okay. But uh -huh. we only want to find this orange section over here. So how do we do that? Well, let's think from a logical standpoint. If you take a circle, okay. And remember it's giving us this arc length in degrees. Uh, well, it's giving us an it's angle from the center in degrees. So if we started here and we go all the way around in a circle, how many degrees do we go? Do you ever watch? 360. Uh, 360, exactly. So 360 degrees is going all the way around. So if we went all the way around, it's 360. But here we're just going 45 degrees, okay? So it's saying 45 degrees is how far we're going. So again, if we went 360 degrees, that would mean that we would get capture the entire circumference, which is 16 pi, but we're only going 45 degrees. So the way to calculate these arc lengths is you basically take that ratio of how far of the angle of that interior angle, which is just 45 degrees in this case, whatever it is out of the total, it's a part out of a whole. The whole is always going to be 360. So we're basically taking 45 out of 360 and then we're multiplying that guy against whatever our circumference is, which in this case is 16 pi. Now we don't need the degrees uh, symbol, it doesn't matter. So what is 45 out of uh, 45 over 360, what does that reduce to? What do you think? Uh, one over eight. Yeah, very good, very good. So we'll write that up here. So now we have one over eight times 16 pi over one. What does this reduce to? So two pi. That's it. Okay. Does that make sense? That makes more sense. Okay, cool. Yeah, because I've seen like the formula before, but it's hard to translate that into like 
actually doing it. See, this this that's type good. of stuff, I can give you, you know, you can memorize the formula, but that's why I, it's it's not even about the formula. Like now that you you can see why, you know, like forget about the formula, you can see why it's calculated the way it is, right? We're taking a chunk out of a hole. The hole is 360, and you're just taking the part out of the hole, and then you don't need to know the formula. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's really useful. All right, good. Okay.